Hey everyone, if you're trying to uh, flash Tasmoda on a Sonoff Mini without the dipstick, the little the little jumper pin installed, um, I've spent the ent entire afternoon trying to figure this out, and I finally found a way that makes it makes it work um, relatively easy. So just want to walk you guys through it. Right now, the Sonoff is uh, is trying to connect. It's connected to the wrong network, and it's not exactly working well. So I'm going to run you through the entire process as of how to reset everything. So first, we're going to put, get the Sonoff Mini into compatible pairing mode. So I'm going to hold the button down for five seconds. I'm going to let go. And then we're going to do it for five more seconds. And it should just keep blinking solidly. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset it in the, in the EWLink app. So we're going to go to comp compatible mode got uh, smart home and just a, a temporary password to show what this looks like. So we'll hit next. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the actual device itself. So we'll hit OK from there and you'll see IT here. So that's the actual device. We're going to click on that. Now that we're connected to the device itself, we're going to go back to the EWLink app. Hit next. I let this sit here for a couple seconds because sometimes it fails. So then I hit join, and it should send the network info and then reconnect the router. Perfect. So now we've got the device set up. And we can see the device there. And then if we hit the power button, it's controlling it. So now we can see in the Sonoff settings here, it's running the newest firmware. So we've got 3.6. And now from here, since it's set up from the basic setup here, we're going to put Taz Moda on it. Uh, so what I found here, the easiest way to do it, again, we're going to go back into compatible mode. Hold this down for five seconds. And again, this is without the jumper installed. I found it to be quite easy with the jumper installed, but I had a bunch of these units already mounted inside electrical boxes, which was a bit of a pain to have to open them all up to put the jumper. So I really wanted to do it without the jumper. So now we've got it flashing in compatible mode again. What I'm going to do on the phone here is I'm going to jump over to uh, my Chrome browser and I'm going to go to 10.10.7.1. And let's get it to load here. There we go. So now we're on the Sonoff do-it-yourself mode. Sometimes it just takes a little second for it to load or to get, uh, to get running on the Sonoff itself. So we're going to hit Wi-Fi settings. I've pre-set up a Sonoff network that it requires. I have been able to do it without the network, but I do find it to be easier going with, uh, with what they've recommended here. And you have to punch in this specific password and the specific network name. So you'll notice the network name has a capital D on Do It Yourself. And then here we've got 2017-06-18-SN. We'll hit save. This will take a little bit. You'll see the light should change off of the uh, compatible. And now we're just waiting for it to connect. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to take you over to my guest network. I'm actually using three computers just to make this easily shown. So it looks like it's connected here. We've got the device itself. Really what we need, there's multiple ways of doing it, but you just want to get the IP address. So we can see here 192.168.5.2. Now, on another computer, I'm using a Chrome browser and I'm using Rester. And you can see here, we're going to change this to 5.2. The data, you're going to see the data just like this here. And I'm going to request info. So we're just going to hit send. Let's see if we get some details from it here. Oh, let me just see. I've got to connect over here to the Wi-Fi network, so I wasn't actually connected to the Sonoff network. Beauty. So now I'm connected. We'll try this one more time. And you can see I can get the details uh, from the unit itself. Now, OTA unlock is true. Uh, I've already unlocked this one. But after you're done the info request, you can see the unit here. If you get a 200 OK and everything is fine, what you can do up here is come up and go OTA underscore unlock. 
and uh, and send this payload. Just hit send, and what it'll do is it'll switch that OTA unlock to uh, to true, right? So as long as we can request info now, and we can get OTA unlock true, you are literally ready now to set it up on uh, or to load Tasmodo. Uh, sorry, Tasmodo. So from here. What I actually have to do, for whatever reason, uh, my wireless adapter that I'm using, I actually have to unplug it and plug it back in. I don't know why I can't figure it out, but it's the only way I'm getting this tool to, to work and, uh, and to pull up the, the details for, uh, for the flash. So either one of these typically work. I use the one with the log so you can see what's going on. Once this pops up, let me just close that again. I've got to connect to the network here. So we're just going to connect back to that Sonoff DIY. And then once that's connected, perfect. Now we're going to go to the tool. And you can see here that the device pops up. That's really it. So from the brush machine, once you've got this do-it-yourself mode tool, we can go here to flash the firmware. We can say import firmware. I've got a Tasmoda light that I'm using on this one. Hit open, press flash device list so it selects the device. We can see over here it's just doing a bunch of stuff. If you see these kind of details, it means it's working. And then it'll it'll change that chunk. Once I hit OK here, we can see it's going to start to do some different work on, on this side here. And it's starting to flash. I'll leave links to all these tools and everything in the and the information that I used to get this to work. But it's been a hell of a day to, to make it work. Once that's done, hit yes. You can now close the tool. You can see it's just doing some other stuff here. But if we close this tool, now what we're waiting is the usual Tasmoda setup. So you're looking for Tasmoda to pop up in your, uh, in your wireless networks. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Sometimes I've even had to use another device. So, right, if it's not popping up there, if we come back to the phone, let's see if it pops up here. There it is. And then you follow your typical Tasmoda setup, right? You can go to the device, punch in your details. Oh. Uh, go to... One nine two dot one six eight dot four dot one, and then that'll load your Tasmoda page. And that's really it. I hope this uh, I hope this helps people figure out how to do this and uh, makes it a little bit easier for you. If you have any questions, please feel free reach out, and I can walk you through some of these steps if they're not clear enough. Thanks.